Here at the Danish Technological Institute, we produce and analyze a wide variety of uh, different kinds of materials. And one way of characterizing materials are by using X-ray diffraction. In uh, diffraction, we usually work with uh, powdered uh, crystalline materials. Crystalline materials consist of atoms ordered in three dimensions. And this uh, lattice scatters the uh, X-rays in certain directions, which are then collected by a detector. And uh, in the end, you end with a uh, diffractogram. From the position of uh, the peaks, we get information ab about how the atoms are located in relation to each other. And from the intensity of the peaks, we can uh, see which kind of elements are in the sample. In special cases uh, where we want to have a more intense X-ray source, we can go to uh, synchrotron facilities. At the synchrotron facilities, uh, X-rays are produced by accelerating electrons in a large storage ring with a circumference of more than 1.4 kilometers. And the electrons are then uh, accelerated uh, with a speed close to the speed of light. And when the electrons are accelerated, they then emit an intense source of X-rays, which can be used to characterize uh, all kinds of materials. We want to use these uh, facilities to locate small amounts of uh, uh, iron inside our uh, nanoparticles. My relation to the Danish Technological Institute is that they're an important project partner for me and we've collaborated on a range of projects during the last uh, 10 years. And we have spent more than 25 years on synchrotron and neutron radiation spanning from development of beam lines to new techniques and studies and currently especially in Sweden where we're building the new Denmark Beamline. I think it's uh, the future and I think you know in a country like Denmark where you have to add value to your products you have to be at the very top of your game and I think synchrotrons and neutrons can be a new game changer for industry to, to keep that edge.